In this video, we are going to learn how to use InDesign to create your presentation boards for art. <laughs> Okay, so this has been a topic that I have been putting off for a while uh, and it's been one of the most requested topics on the channel and I've been putting it off because it has a lot of components, right? So from composition, content, colors, typography, story, etc. So I really didn't want to put everything in one 10 minute video or everything in one two hour long video. So I'm going to divide this topic in different uh, short videos so feel free to go to our channel page and look for the presentation boards playlist that is going to be created to see uh, new videos on this topic so in this specific video we are going to open InDesign talk about its basic functions uh, why we should use InDesign for creating our presentation boards how to import images export simple files and at the end we're going to see an example of a presentation board I did a while ago while, while I was in university, right? So let's get started. So I want to start by answering the question, why do we have to use InDesign when I can use Illustrator, Photoshop, or even AutoCAD to create my presentation boards? Well, first of all, InDesign is kind of created to specifically design presentation boards. Just like AutoCAD is created to construct plans, Photoshop to edit different raster images, and Illustrator to create vector art, Although some people are super creative and they can use Illustrator or even PowerPoint to make their whole presentation boards, the idea is that we use each specific program for what it was made for, right? So after this, we are going to open InDesign and it's going to give us the option. So let's go to, oh, let's go to InDesign. It's going to give us the option to create a document, a book, or a library. In this case, we want to create a document, right? Okay, so there's going to appear a win so there's going to appear a window where we have to define our file size and orientation. And we can also define our margins, columns, etc. So and since for some people here at uh, we don't have the units in centimeters or in inches. Uh, I'm just going to press OK here. This interface is going to appear, right? So we're going to have two rulers. One is going to be horizontal and the other one is going to be vertical. So in both of them, I am going to right click on top of them and select centimeters, right? So that is going to change the units of our whole file from, from PCAS to centimeters, right? Now we can go to file again, document setup. And as, as you guys can see here, we're going to have the, the option to change it in centimeters. So I'm going to put in width, I'm going to put it to 70 centimeters and in height to 50 centimeters. And we're going to press OK. And this is how it, your window is supposed to appear at first, right? So here we're going to see three, three uh, essential spaces, right? This is, the, is a space where I will have the presentation board, right? That it's, is, is the white presentation board. This Next gray space is the canvas where I can put uh, many other images um, that I'm not using for the moment. And this other space is just, you know, like negative space that we cannot use like for the moment, right? So before you start dragging in files to create your presentation boards, I really recommend that you make a sketch or like a plan before of how you want your presentation boards, right? So in many, many schools or in many competitions, uh, you know, many people give you a, a list of things they want in the presentation boards. Like for example, a site plan, a floor plan, a three exterior renders, a section, a facade elevation, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Right. So you want to make that list on a, on a sheet of paper. And, uh, besides that sheet of paper, you want to make a quick sketch or a quick uh, drawing of how the presentation is going to be, right? So what is the, what is going to be the important thing in the, in the, in the presentation board? Is it, is it going to be the section? Are the, is it going to be divided in a grid where everything is equally important, just like the title is equally important as the section? Or is there going to be maybe a, a central theme and everything is going to uh, go around that central theme? So you want to have a, a you know, a narrative and a, a story in, in your composition. Uh, before you start actually dragging the images into InDesign. We're going to do a whole video on, on story and composition, but for this video, let's just say that you already have all of that ready, right? 
Once you have that ready, you want to get all your, all your files organized and start importing them into your, into your InDesign page. So here I opened uh, three presentation boards that I worked on maybe about three to four years ago when I was presenting my thesis for my undergraduate uh, degree in architecture. And this is a project I did with two other teammates. And well, there are basically three like big, big, big ass presentation boards that are about three meters wide and uh, about 55 centimeters uh, tall, I think. And well, just to resume it, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's an urban transformation project uh, where, you know, the main character is the homeless people that are here in our main city. And it's just a, a tr an, an urban project to transform that area without uh, damaging the lives of these people. It's a very cool project that maybe in the future I will get to explain to you a little bit better. But here I just want to show you guys how the interface looks when I have a presentation board complete, right? So the important things are, are there are several, there are several important things here, right? So first I have, um, here I'm seeing all the presentation boards in preview mode. So that means like, I don't see any guides. I don't see any, you know, any texts that are misplaced because I have it in preview mode. If you want to change, you can go go to view screen mode and change it to normal when we change it to normal you guys can see that we're going to see our canvas our canvas again some images and elements that didn't make the cut but i can leave them here you know just for for seeing them later and on each image that that is imported you're going to see a little x and you know the transformation tools so that is how it, it looks in preview mode if i zoom into this project we're going to see that the image quality for uh, the majority of these diagrams and images aren't going to be that high, right? So when we see it right here, we can't really notice what is going on over here because the resolution is not that good. So you might think that maybe InDesign damaged your file or something, and but the truth is uh, InDesign, what it does is uh, it lowers the resolution of each image. So the workflow and the speed inside of the program can be much, much faster. Obviously, you can uh, right click on any image and here over here in display performance, you can press put it to high quality display if you wanted to see if you want to see that specific image in high quality. But they always leave it in a very like sketchy, fast quality display. So everything can be uh, viewed and seen in a very fast way. And we're not going to have any lagging in our programs. Um, so as, as you guys can see, I have the text files over here, different diagrams, uh, sections, renders, uh, some text, and some infographics, and I have many, many things. Uh, as I told you guys before, uh, InDesign works with links. So we in the in our left bar over here. Okay, so if we go to our links tab, we can see many, many files and images, which which are all the files that are in our presentation boards right now. And they all have a number over here that says one, two, or three, and that corresponds to each presentation board. And if we click on in, on one file, we can see the information of the file, where it is located, the size, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. The cool thing about this is that, that I can always that I can always right click on any file and uh, press edit original. So what that is going to do is it's going to open the original file that I am working on. And so let's, let's say for example, right here, I am opening a, this diagram, which is a, you know, an urban analysis diagram. And I decided to just maybe turn this off. And all I have to do is just press save right here again. And when I go back to my presentation board, once it's done saving, when I go back to my presentation board and I try to look for the file, which is a file right here, you're going to see that it has been updated. And if I go back to my Photoshop file, turn the later on, press control save and go back to the file, you're going to see that there's this yellow bar appearing and that, mean, that means that the file uh, hasn't been updated yet. Right? So I just double click on it and the file automatically updates. There's no need to export images as a JPEG and then import them again into into InDesign we can just as a PSD file import our images or as an Illustrator file or as an Excel file 
we can import our images into our InDesign project. So in our next videos, what we're going to see is we're going to see many things, right? From how to, comp how to make a composition in your presentation boards, how to tell a story, when what order should each, each image be, if we should put a site plans first, or a diagram, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And many, many other important things that we should take into account, like for example, the colors of our files, uh, the typography we're going to use, and, um, and many, many other things. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below what program you're using right now for your presentation boards. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you, bye.